from the most haunted place in India to the brutal history of this New Orleans mansion. These are 11 creepiest historical places. Number 11, Place de la Concorde. Place de la Concorde is the largest square in Paris, and at one point, it was known as the Revolution Square. It was during the French Revolution that one of the most beautiful places in Paris became the site of massive bloodshed. The guillotine was erected in the square, and the most famous head to row has to be that of King Louis XVI. He was executed on January 21st, 1793, followed by his wife and the last queen of France, Marie Antoinette. The amount of people that were executed in the square is estimated to be between 1,400 and 2,600. It's hard to imagine that you can't feel the lonely presence of all the lost souls in the area. Nowadays, the square does not share much with its dark past. For the unassuming tourist, it might just be a pretty place to visit. Also, anyone ever play Assassin's Creed Unity? Number 10. Whitby Abbey. Location? England. This place hits quite a few marks on the creepy list. Old? Check. Abandoned? Check. Historical landmark? Check. Has a church and a graveyard next to it? Double check. Haunted? Check. Maybe. Yeah, there's quite a few stories and sightings, primarily of St. Hilda, the lady that was named founder of the Abbey back in 657 AD. People have spotted her chilling silhouette staring at them from the top floor windows of the building. Oh, and almost forgot, Whitby Abbey and the town of Whitby in general were the main inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula. It was here that he found a book detailing the vicious antics of Vlad the Impaler. Number 9. The Jonathan Corwin House. Location? Massachusetts. Located in the heart of the Salem Witch Trials, this is the last remaining structure with any ties to those dark, dark times. Jonathan Corwin was one of the few selected as a judge during the trials. Due to scarcity of official records from the time, Corwin's involvement can only be tied to signing a few arrest warrants for possible witches. When you walk into the house, you immediately feel the eerie history of the place. It's most likely just your imagination, but it's rare to feel connected to something that happened hundreds of years ago so easily. In total, the trials were responsible for the execution of 20 people for suspected witchcraft. Salem has turned this negative into a positive by creating tourist attractions, spreading the truth about the victims, and making sure that history does not repeat itself. Number 8. The trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Location? West Virginia. It wouldn't be a creepy places list without the inclusion of a lunatic asylum. The construction of the asylum was started sometime in the 1850s, and everything was going great until the Civil War. The project was put on hold and the investment money that still remained was seized by the reorganized government of Virginia, aka West Virginia. In 1863, the building was renamed into the West Virginia Hospital for the Insane. What do you think was a catchier name? Lunatic Asylum or Hospital for the Insane? The asylum was designed to be self-sufficient. There was a cemetery, a farm, a dairy, and the total area of it reached 666 acres or 270 hectares which, let's face it, doesn't sound so creepy. This place has been featured on almost every ghost hunting TV show, so it's safe to say that there might be something paranormal happening in the building. There's been some talk about turning the place into a hotel or maybe a golf course. I wonder if that's ever gonna happen. Number seven, the Frankenstein Castle. Location, Germany. Quick, what's the name of the monster in the novel Frankenstein's Monster? Uh, it's not Frankenstein, I'll tell you that much. The beautiful hilltop castle in Germany is believed to be the inspiration behind Mary Shelley's famous novel. This castle has an abnormal amount of mystery and legends tied to it. It might be the deep dark forest surrounding it or the actual tale of a real-life mad scientist living there. Conrad Dippel was born in Frankenstein Castle. At some point, he became a renowned alchemist and claimed to have created the elixir of life. He called it Dippel oil and tried to exchange the magical form formula for the deed of the castle. There are also claims that he was really into anatomy and may have performed autopsies and strange experiments on the dead. 
Sound familiar? Unfortunately, this might be a classic case of which came first, the chicken or the egg scenario, since none of the legends surrounding the castle have been substantiated or can be proven to have started before the novel was published. The only evidence linking the author Mary Shelley to the castle is the fact that she spent a few hours in a town that was 10 miles away. Oh, there's also some kind of a fountain of youth hidden in the backyard of the castle. Number 6. The LaLaurie Mansion Location, Louisiana. To understand why this place is so insanely creepy, we have to travel back in time a bit. How does 1834 sound? Delphine LaLaurie was a famous socialite in New Orleans, and she had somewhat of a good life, excluding the two dead husbands. During her third marriage, she built a mansion, a serious mansion, at 1140 Royal Street. And no mansion at that time was complete without slave quarters, and a state-of-the-art torture chamber. Or wait, maybe maybe that wasn't normal. Anyway, on April 10th, 1834, a fire broke out in the kitchen of the mansion. As it turned out, it was started by a 70-year-old woman that was chained to the stove. She was trying to commit suicide because she was too afraid of what her punishment might be for something that she did wrong. She mentioned a secret upstairs room that nobody came back from. To quote, police and firefighters found seven slaves, more or less, horribly mutilated, suspended by the neck with their limbs apparently stretched and torn from one extremity to the other. That's pretty graphic. Lady LaLaurie, not sure if we should even call her Lady at this point, escaped to Paris and eventually died, never paying for all the horrible things that she did to those people. Some say the building is still haunted. Number 5. Poveglia Island. Location? Italy. It is rare to have so much death and despair located in one place, but Poveglia Island should be ranked in the top five of that category. In 1776, the island acted as a check-in for ships traveling to Venice. Several ships were reported to carry the Black Plague, and the island turned into a confinement slash quarantine zone. At that point, the bodies just started piling up, with no one bothering to give them a proper burial. This continued on until 1814. In later years, the island was again used as a quarantine station. And finally, in the 1920s, someone had the great idea of building an asylum for the insane there. It is suspected that the doctors there were very eager to give anyone a crude lobotomy. Legend says that one of the main doctors jumped off a window because he was tired of being haunted by ghosts. And then, someone in 1968 came up with an even better idea. It was decided that the island would be used for agriculture. Number 4. The Gettysburg Battlefield Location, Pennsylvania The Battle of Gettysburg is sometimes described as the turning point of the American Civil War, but many historians debate the fact. The three-day battle involved the largest number of casualties in the war, and it's also the site of the famous Abraham Lincoln speech. As you might guess, the Gettysburg Battlefield is probably one of the most haunted places in America, with hundreds of reports of ghost sightings yearly. But is there any truth to it? The estimated casualties for both sides are between 46,000 to 51,000. That is a lot of unfinished stories and unsettled personal struggles. There is no concrete evidence of paranormal activity, but there are some convincing pictures floating around the internet. Number 3. The Highway of Tears Location, Canada There have been some requests for locations in Canada, so consider this a starting point, guys. Next week, there will be a whole video on abandoned places in Canada. The Highway of Tears is a 450 miles, 720 kilometer stretch of Highway 16 between Prince Rupert and Prince George in British Columbia. The region has suffered historically. The towns in the area are very, very poor, and a lot of people have to hitchhike to get from one place to the next. That has led to the disappearance and murder of an estimated 40 to 50 people since the 70s. When you drive down a road and you see this sign, it's hard not to get completely creeped out. Would you willingly hitchhike in the area? Number 2. The Outback Location, Australia It might be due to movies like Wolf Creek and Road Train, or it might be the actual serial killers like Ivan Millett, Bradley Murdoch, and John Justin Bunting Group. Or it could be the countless Reddit stories referring to everything from secret operations to the devil himself. There's just something about the Australian outback that gives many people the hibby-jeebies. 
I'd love to hear what the Australians think about the situation. Is it just scare tactics? Or is there parts of the outback that even the most rugged loco is scared of? Before we jump to number one, thanks for all the wonderful comments and suggestions. Brett, this sounds very interesting. We'll definitely research it in the near future. Thanks, Drastic Batman. Hope you enjoyed this video as well. As far as honorable mentions go, this time around, we're going to look at haunted hotels. First up, we have the Fairmont Empress Hotel. This is actually one of the most famous hotels in British Columbia. There are plenty of sightings of the hotel's architect, Francis Rattenbury. Apparitions of a lanky mustache man with a cane have been spotted by many ghost-friendly guests. You can try to spot the ghosts yourself for about 150 bucks a night right now. Then we have the El Salto Hotel in Colombia. There's almost a 100% chance you have seen this abandoned place before. It seems like a different ghost story accompanied every picture of the hotel. Nowadays, it has been restored and is known as the Tekendama Falls Museum of Biodiversity and Culture. The Grand Hotel Vienna in Argentina was not so lucky. The hotel was built by German immigrants between 1941 and 1947, and some claim that Hitler visited the place. But we're definitely not getting into that debate right now. Finally, we have the Ballygally Castle. Surely someone will help out and mention the proper way to pronounce the name. The castle has a long and dark history, which lends credibility to the many ghost sightings and hauntings around the area. It is also the last and only 17th century building to be used as a residence in Northern Ireland. Number 1. The Bangar Fort. Location, India. At number 1, we have the most haunted place in India. Legend states that the beautiful princess of Bangar was targeted by a black magic wizard. He tried giving her a love potion, but she saw through his lies and destroyed the potion by throwing it against the boulder. The boulder started rolling and crushed the wizard. At that point, the wizard cursed the fort and condemned every soul that occupied it. The fort was later invaded by the Mughals and the 10,000 people that lived there all perished. It is believed that the fort is now haunted by the wizard and the princess, and it is forbidden for anyone to spend the night there. Seriously, there's even a sign. It is said that anyone who dares to visit the fort at night will be visited by the livid princess and the scorned wizard. So what do you think? What place creeped you out the most? Don't be afraid to comment below, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more awesome World Unearthed.